Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I uh, play a lot of video games, uh, Pokemon Go, uh, mobile games, uh, a lot of Xbox games as well, as you can tell on my channel. Uh, and if you've been watching me for a while, thank you for returning. I'm going to be unboxing the Pokemon Go Plus I received on Amazon because everywhere else it seems like it's an extremely limited quantity for the English version. So I had to get the uh, Japanese version. Um, no real difference on it. I kind of looked it up already. Uh, it's just the instruction manuals in Japanese. But really, that doesn't... I mean, come on. Who needs an instruction manual, right? Who even reads that stuff anymore? So I'm going to go and unbox it, kind of show you the basics of what we need to do, and we'll get it connected, and then uh, show it in the wild. going to be showing you some quick stuff with the Pokemon Go Plus out in the wild. So I'm going to show you it uh, capturing some Pokemon, what it looks like, how it's going to act out here in the wild, and also how it's going to react with a Pokestop. It is working. So as you can tell on the screen, it's flashing green. Letting me know there's a Pokemon nearby. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. Caught it. Hey, all right, cool. Get this notification. Pokestop coming up. See how it's flashing blue? All right, so at that point, we can just select it. As long as we're in range. There we go, four items, cool. All right, so with Pokemon Go, all in all, if you're gonna be playing Pokemon Go on a regular basis, uh, almost daily, you're out and about a lot. Uh, if you have kids and you play Pokemon Go, and yeah, I know the struggle with that, having three kids myself under five, definitely a pain trying to do that when you go out to the mall or somewhere. Uh, definitely would recommend getting the Pokemon Go Plus. Uh, it definitely makes life easier when playing Pokemon Go, trying to capture Pokemon, uh, calculating the distance, getting the candies from your daily walks, uh, finding Pokemon, hitting the Pokestops. Makes life a lot easier if you're going to have your hands full or you play on a daily basis. It's worth getting. Uh, if you play it every once in a blue moon, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it just because of some Bluetooth disconnect issues. Uh, might not make it worth, you know, once a day playing it or once a week playing it. May not be worth it. But if you're a daily Pokemon Go player, I think it would be uh, worth investing in. Uh, if you can, Japanese version, like I said, Japanese version from the English version, not much of a difference except for the pamphlet um, and the instruction manual, but all that can be found online in English as well, so not a big deal. Uh, highly recommend getting if you're playing Pokemon Go on a regular basis. Thank you for watching the review video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to comment below. I will get to them as soon as I can. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did like the content, please subscribe. I'll be posting more videos as I progress, especially with Pokemon Go and Pokemon Go Plus. Uh, thank you for watching.